What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, guess what we got in today? A gold shell mini doge miner. Let's go ahead and crack this open and get mining some doge. Before we go ahead and crack this open, we had to break out some more Doge stuff. So we got our Doge uh, mug, which is a coffee mug from Crypty.co. I'll put a link down below if you guys wanna go ahead and nab yourselves one of these. This one's cool because look, it's got the hodl right on there. So cool looking. And of course, we're drinking ourselves some Doge Lord coffee. Uh, this one right here is their standard uh, ground. They call this Digital Gold Roast. So this is actually really, really good. Got ourselves a little coffee in there too. This is cup number two tonight. Uh, so anyways, now that we are fully decked out in Doge, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, so let's uh, open this up and see exactly what we got here. Ooh, fancy. All right, so here is our miner. You guys can see, unfortunately, we don't have any of the cool etchings on the side or anything like that. Unfortunately, I was actually concerned when I got it that it didn't have anything on it because this was one of their like Christmas ones. And if you look at the fine print on their website, it actually says no guarantee to have the etchings on it, which is really disappointing. Um, but pretty cool. Two fans on the front here, on the back, nice mesh for intake. We have our ethernet port as well as a six pin and there is a small wireless antenna port as well. Look at this thing. It's like nothing, it's awesome. So we'll put that aside as we are most likely gonna run this via ethernet. And then we just have a little book that has a QR code to scan for instructions. Awesome, let's get our box put away and take a deeper dive. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach our wireless antenna so that we honestly don't lose this. Because you guys know how it is. Like, if this thing is not attached, it will get lost. Perfect. So, uh, as we talked about before, we have Ethernet and we also have 6-pin on the bottom here. Now, there are a lot of adapters that you can buy out there uh, from multitude of different websites that are just a 6-pin. Uh, now, this only uses 230-ish watts, so it's not anything crazy. It's not like a traditional ASIC miner where it's going to heat up your room uh, or use a boatload of electricity. So you can run this directly from a uh, outlet jack uh, running into this, some adapters if you're interested. What I'm going to do for my situation is I picked up a, a 750 watt HP power supply uh, with a breakout board as well. And uh, as you can see, it has the six pin here. And then on the back of our miner, we have our six pin there. And then I have picked up, grabbed one of my PCI cables uh, and what these are is this will allow you to do multiple of these. So my thought pattern is over time, I'll buy more of these and uh, we'll just plug right into our breakout board. And then these are six plus two. So we can just pop off the two and hey, there's six and we can go ahead and plug these in into our miner. And there we go. And now we have and we're set up and our miner has power and that'll come directly from our HP server power supply. And then these right on the back side here, they just have a typical plug, just like your computer, you'd run from here uh, to uh, the wall outlet and off you go. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to plug in ethernet and then we're gonna boot this up and we're gonna track this down in our network to figure out, uh, we have to find out what the IP address is. We're gonna use a program called Advanced Scanner or IP Scanner. And that's gonna give us the IP addresses of everything on our network the Doge uh, miner is listed on there and then we log into this to configure it via the web page. Okay, so we got everything set up here. So we have our power cable coming in and it's going actually from our power meter. So you guys can see I set up a power meter here uh, and it's going ahead and uh, this will allow us to go ahead and check to see how many watts this actually uses when it's mining. Right now you can see it's 1.2, which is barely anything right now comes in and goes into the power supply that we were talking about. I'll show you guys where I got this once we jump over to the computer. Goes into our breakout board. From the breakout board, 
wires into the back of the uh, Mini Doge Miner. And then here is our Ethernet, which works out great. As we talked about, you do not have to go with something like this and this sophisticated with a, uh, with a voltage meter and everything. Uh, this is only for today's video. So I'm gonna turn on our power. So this is like uh, if we went ahead and plugged in the Mini Doge Miner. And now we can see there's a little green light in the bottom. We can see we're getting some lights up top here for activity. We can feel some air coming through on this side. Um, so the way the airflow works is in the front, the air is coming in the front and then it's exiting the back, but it is super quiet, not much to it at all, uh, which is expected. This is a uh, mini Doge miner, um, but let me see if you guys can hear anything when I get a little closer. There you go, you can hear those fans a little bit, starting to ramp up, but nothing crazy, man. This is, and, the, and there it is, now it's ramping down. So let's go ahead and jump over to the computer and we'll go ahead and talk about uh, where we purchased some of these items, how much they were. And then on top of that, we'll go ahead and run to the advanced IP scanner and that will tell us the IP address so we can get it configured. Okay, miners, so here is the Gold Shell Mini Doge Miner that we got directly from Gold Shell's website. Uh, we did end up purchasing this, purchasing this just before Christmas and it came on sale. It was, um, I think $6.99 is what we paid USD. It does not look like that. We don't have the cool logo on the side or that etching. And those are the little things, you know, uh, that we do appreciate. Uh, but I bought it with Ethereum. Uh, you could pay, you know, cash or cr via credit card, or you could go ahead and use crypto. And so I paid with Ethereum uh, and that worked out really, really well. Uh, they have an integration with Coinbase to make it super simple and easy. So as we were talking about there, it does 185 mega hash and it is at 233 watts. So it's like, it's nothing to be honest with you. Uh, if you wanted more details on here, it shows you that it's under 35 dB, which is really nice. You can run Ethereum or you can run wireless on these units. And they got some great guides on here. They recommend like a 600 watt gold power supply uh, if you're interested. And they give you a whole tutorial on that. And there's a lot of videos out there running these off of the uh, adapter that I talked about. So the nice thing is about the uh, mini Doge miners is these mine Doge and they also mine Litecoin at the same time. And that is what is most attractive to me is not only am I investing into something like Doge, which kind of falls under the speculative mining category, um, but you also into Litecoin, uh, which is much more established, much more uh, you know, worth a lot more in value. Uh, and there's that's definitely one with like Litecoin too that you can go ahead and stake, which I'm excited about. So other than that, not much to it uh, going on from there. I want to show you guys right now in the current market, which does not look very good, as you can see, this only makes about 77 cents per day. And on top of that, that's $276.42 per year. So if we go ahead and scroll down, um, you can go ahead and put your electric cost in. It's based off of 12 cents. I'm going to update it to mine, which is a lot less. 0 0.058 and apply it uh please enter oh too many too many let's go back one here we go perfect so for me in my situation i'm at a dollar 17 per day which is a huge difference when it comes to electricity cost um so 35 dollars per month and 422 dollars per year so in the current situation i'm not even breaking even after a year but this is also a little bit of fun mixed with a little bit of speculative mining. So keep that in mind as we move forward. Um, so Doge hasn't really been looking pretty recently. Um, you know, just in the last seven days, you can see there's quite a downward trend for Doge right now. So let's go ahead and mine it. Difficulty might be less. We can kind of get ourselves some more Doge. In addition to that with Litecoin, Litecoin down as well, just like everything else is uh, in the last few days since the new year. Um, but it is $128 um, for Litecoin right now, which is still pretty cool versus where we're at with Doge, which is roughly right around that 13 cent mark. So this is the um, power supply that I picked up on Parallel Miners. Uh, they have a variety of different options that you can pick up. You can go with a 750 watt. You can look at a 1200 watt if you wanted to. As I said before, if you pick this up for something like this, you could now do eight total Doge um, miners on this if you wanted to off, off of the power supply and the breakout board that it does come with. Finally, advanced IP scanner. This is what they recommend. 
um, what you do is you download this program and you run it and scan your network and it will tell you under the manufacturer and the details as to everything on your network and you can see the gold shell dogecoin miner and it tells you the ip address so i'm going to go ahead and run this on my network i'm going to identify the ip address and in our next cutscene, you're going to see us jump over to loading up our web browser and typing in the ip address and then we can go ahead and log in to our gold shell mini dogecoin miner okay so we have gone ahead find found the ip address it's dhcp so it doesn't have a static ip and it's actually really funny so when i was looking at all the different devices on my network it came up as qsdk like you think <laughs> for gold shell like you think it would come up like something much easier just like gold shell or gold shell mini doge miner like no gold shell so you get QSDK and uh, it, there's the IP address that it got there. So we went ahead and loaded this up and then we stopped. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here in the upper right hand corner and we're going to change our language. We're going to swap it over to English. Ah, much easier. We can totally work with this now. So next step is we want to come up and we want to unlock the interface. So we're going to click on lock and then under admin, you can type the password. So the password by default on all these devices, as you can see, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to unlock it. Once you do that, it is always a great rule of thumb to stop and change your admin password. So in here, you're gonna come down to system. And once you do that, you can go ahead and change your password. So under change password, you're gonna go ahead and type in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine for your current password, and then come in here and put in a new password twice and hit change. So once you click change, it's gonna bring you right back to the unlocker screen. You can go in here and type in your new password and then just click unlock. And great, our job has been done. We've gone ahead and logged in. The next thing I recommend you do is to change it from DHCP to static. So to do that, you can come up here under network settings and just uncheck that. And now you can fill in your IP address, subnet mask, and your router IP. If you uncheck that for DNS, you can now fill in your DNS info. I always recommend with devices like this that you don't leave it on DHCP and that you swap it over to static so that you don't need to look for the IP address every single time and that you have that. So this step, pause, update your IP information. If you know, if you don't, then just keep doing what you're doing and let's move on with our settings. Okay, so now we're back at our home screen. We just clicked home in the upper left hand corner. The next step is to set up your miner. It is not mining to your pool or to your address right now. It's actually mining to someone else's most likely gold shells. So on the left hand side here, we're gonna select miner. After we have selected miner, our next step is to go ahead and change the pool as to what it's mining to. So up here at the top, you can see right here, this is not our miner not our information at all so we're going to come up here and we're going to click add now this is where we have to get into some more detail so we have to select a pool as to where we want to mine to the pool provides you the jobs that that provide you the work for your miner which then the pool ends up paying you out to your wallet so we're going to go ahead and select f2 pool for this example and when you click on it it's going to populate the url which is awesome but we have to go over and set everything up on the pool level now. So we need to go over to F2 pool and we need to create an account and then we need to create the miner and the password for that. So we're going to jump over to f2pool.com slash coin slash dogecoin and that this is our pool. Here, your next step is to go to the upper right hand corner and create a F2 pool account. I'll, I will not be going over that today, but that is the next step. Complete that and then unpause this video when you have that done. Okay, so a lot has happened uh, since our previous recording that we had going on there. So a few things. I set up my account on F2 pool. Check, make sure you do that. Once you set that up, make sure you do two-factor authentication, get that sucker locked down. The next thing that you wanna do within there is you wanna go in to the wallets on F2 pool, and you want to add in your wallet for Litecoin and your wallet for Dogecoin. As we talked about, you get paid out on both of those at the same exact time, which is fantastic running on that script algorithm. Once you've gone ahead and done that, and, and let's pause for a second. If you don't have a crypto wallet, 
or you need one for Dogecoin and Litecoin, uh, there's two I recommend that are super friendly. Exodus or Zelcor. So please go ahead, check them out. They're really, really great. I'll put links down below to both of those wallets. Get those set up. Next thing you need to do is that you need to set up the miner within uh, within our gold shell miner. So you can see here, I set up mine. You can see it's very visible. Mighty Mouse, a perfect name for it, right? So in order to do this, let's start back. Hit add, you hit F2 pool, and now you create a miner name, which I called mine Mighty Mouse, and the password is something you come up with. Make sure it's secure. You don't wanna share it with anyone else. After you hit apply, it will go ahead and add it in here at the top. So ours is in there now, but there's another one in there still, which is the gray one. So let's go ahead and get rid of that one. That is the one that it is shipped with. We'll go ahead and click remove and we get rid of that. So Mighty Mouse now is the only configuration pool as well as the miner that is set within our gold shell mini doge miner. Okay guys, so we've been up and running for five minutes since we made those changes. And you can see, I mean, you can barely see anything there, uh, but we're at 177 mega hash currently right now. That'll continue to climb. You can also see in the bottom left, like your, your temps. Uh, and if you could also see important things like rejected shares and stuff like that. Um, internet connectivity is important. You want to make sure you have a good solid internet connection or you're going to start to see a lot of rejected shares there. Or if this thing is crazy hot, like you got this in a really, really bad place where it's super hot, you're going to see that effect with your rejected shares. So keep that in mind. Once we have this up and running, and I'm going to say guys for like a day, two, three, a week, come over up top here to F2 pool and click on revenue and this will be populated mine isn't yet i literally just got this sucker you are you are enjoying my setup as as, as much as i am uh so i don't really have any data yet uh, but in here we'll be able to see our dashboard information on profitability on litecoin profitability on dogecoin and when the payouts occur because trust me when the payouts occur you get excited then you can go over to your wallet and you can go ahead and see what you've made Keep in mind, you're not paid out every time you hit a coin. You're, there's thresholds built in with F2 pool. I'm not familiar with them yet. I actually haven't even looked into it yet. Uh, but there is a manual withdrawal button there that you can see in the middle if you want to withdraw stuff instantly. But keep in mind, usually the fee is higher to withdraw it versus when you hit the threshold. So you always want to kind of wait for the threshold and be patient. But sometimes circumstances change and you want to go ahead and withdraw that. Well, guys, that's it for today's video. This was such a nice change of pace to do something other than GPU mining and get into something like this with the Gold Shell Mini Doge Miner. I will go ahead and put links to everything that you see here from the coffee mug to the coffee to the Gold Shell Miner and, and where I got it from directly. There's a lot of sites out there, but I'll put a link directly to Gold Shell. We'll also go ahead and link the power supply as well as the breakout board if you guys are interested in checking that out. And let's take a final look we're roughly right around 200. We said 233 was advertised. We're at 238. Now we have to keep in mind, we're going to straight, we were using this power supply as well as the board. So there is some room um, uh, for flexibility within there, but yeah, it's correct. 230 ish Watts. And there is our gold shell mini Doge miner. So what's our plan now? So you and I are gonna check back in in two weeks. We're gonna check our profitability. We're gonna see how we've done. And, you know, we'll definitely come down on the market, but we'll see how much Doge we've mined in two weeks. Well, guys, thank you guys very much for joining me today to check out my brand new mini Doge miner. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you're interested, feel free to subscribe. Take care.